Hi, this is Frank J. Avella with Awards Daily. Today I had the pleasure of chatting with Pablo Lorraine and actor Kristen Stewart about their film Spencer, an engrossing new work that imagines three fateful days in the life of Princess Diana. How are you both doing? Very good, how are you? Good. Doing well, thanks for asking. Um, it struck me watching Spencer just how much it's about uh, trying to hold on to one's identity when those around you are trying to force you to be something you're not. Uh, to fight to be able to create your own identity. Um, Pablo, was this something you felt was essential to her story? I think so very much. I think the, the, the more you sort of investigate and, and, and read and research, the more you understand that that, that was one of her biggest struggle was just to, to find herself and, and, and be able to, um, you know, to con construct and build her own identity in a place that is so hard um when when you're there probably you're like playing a role i think and 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 that's what i think is beautiful on, on the movie and what kristen does is that she's able to put together a character and a role that eventually is it, it's a person that can can really walk out that door and be who she really wants to be uh, and that is an enormous act of freedom it's very hard to do, uh, but, but she does it, and it's, it's possible not just for her, but for everyone, I guess. Well, Kristen, the performance is an embodiment and a portrayal. How did it feel to enter this being that everyone feels they know in some way? I just tried to personalize it as, as much as I could, because I think that that's actually why the opinions are so fervent, is because they feel very possessed by by individuals. And so, you know, they're backed up by a lot of emotion. And I, I tried to just sort of be in my own emotions and my own reactions to her and what her life represented and kind of just my very literal in, moment to moment um, inspirations. Uh, and also kind of understand that the weight of the cumulative perspective is something that can drive you, but if you don't allow it to distract and you're you're able to kind of be a be a part of the whole you know kind of cancel out the noise and and really embed yourself in in, in every moment and then luckily we get to do press about movies that we make so it's this process that we start articulating what we learned and, and start actually having these conversations that really were more emotional and physical and, and spiritual while while making the film with, uh, uh, Pablo, it's so interesting because my mama's hero was Jackie O and her second hero was Princess Di. Do you have some like psychic way of tapping into female heroines? Uh, no, <laughs> no I, my, my, my mom heroes is actually Diana. So maybe that's uh, uh, when we can uh, connect. I, I don't know. I just honestly, it's also people that I think is extremely interesting. People that were um were able to deal with media in a very particular way people that were linked to very powerful families and institutions and and, and husbands but they were able to to you know to be who they who they were and and to to go through it's a bit what we were just discussing i think i think it's about identity and um yeah i think they're like extraordinary women and uh, that of course there are incredible stories around her around both of them and there should be many more, I guess, I hope. Well, one would hope. Um, Kristen, in terms of process, did you find yourself uh, taking her home with you or were you able to disconnect? Uh, I took her home. I, I, I'm not the type of performer that separates my, what's the right word? Not personal life. There's no difference bet between my work life and my home life. I wish I had better words for this. Those don't seem appropriate. I think I mean like, I'm only ever trying to discover things about who I am and who the people that I work with are. And it's definitely not something that I do to kind of like entertain people. You know what I mean? Like all of it is really tied to my own curiosities and desires and, um, you know, while making a movie, I, I, I love being on location while shooting something. I, I like taking it home. I like having it sort of permeate my whole life. Uh, in fact, the, the more honest you can be in your real life and the more present you can be in your real life, incongruence 
with a film, it actually allows you to step back to work and go deeper every single time because you literally like, you're just a more well-rounded person. And I don't know, I think I had anxiety and I had fears about this being, about this falling flat or about it just being unsuccessful. And I don't mean in a monetary way, but just like, you know, I, I had fear of failure, but be, but because I was so into it and I just loved her so much, I was like, you can kind of do no, you can kind of do no wrong because all of this is coming from a really pure place. So, um, no, I took her home. I have her here now. Like it's, it's, it's all, I, my job is so weird. It, it definitely is not a job. It's, it's like a lifestyle. Yeah, it surely comes across on screen. Uh, was there an apprehension for you about doing the project because it was Diana? No, I mean, that was the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing. Yeah. yeah, you can't run away from something that you're actually running towards. No? <laughs> yeah. Well, for both of you, there was so much, there's been so much written about or so many images and videos. How did you decide uh, what to immerse yourself in um, before doing the film? I kind of read everything I could get my hands on and then fell in love with aspects and was infuriated by certain aspects, which really sort of certain things were more curious than others. Um, I think relying on process and time and, and um, understanding that the things that really impact you emotionally are going to become physical and cellular somehow. And so then when you get to set, you don't have to be specific about what you've learned, but everything you're doing is going to have that motivation behind it. and. Um, this is not a movie that that professes to know anything at all or present any new information, but it is oddly precise. The screenplay is, you know, very, very well researched, but plays in an abstract place. And uh, that's just, a that's to be honest, that's just somebody who's incredibly good at what they do. I think he's a masterful writer. And everything I learned about her was kind of substantiated in the script in a way that was gray and more interesting because you know, you're know you not trying to put everything in little boxes. That's just not like true. That's not what life feels like. And so um, I read everything and then kind of just tossed it and relied on the script and Pablo. Yeah. Um, uh, Kristen, you'll be directing your first film soon. Did you find yourself uh, gleaning any insight from Pablo and watching him? I get asked this a lot, like, what type of advice do you receive? What would have been the best experience, what the most formative experiences are? I think the best feeling is when you work with someone who you think is really great and you kind of have similar approaches. Like, I don't know, I think that he's just the most tireless, um, really kind, nurturing, but also very realistic person. Um, I don't know, I think... Uh, we both believe in a certain magic that I cannot articulate right now. And I think that we kind of, I don't know, there's something, I've worked with a lot of great directors. I've been working since I was a little kid. I, I think beyond any sort of literal technical thing I could have ever learned, it's just a certain, there's a certain commitment and a certain sort of, there's just a magic, I don't know. I, I just, I work with Pablo and I go, uh, this is absolutely what I should be doing. It feels like the most truthful thing I could be doing. You want to thank you, but you know, work with incredible filmmakers. I know. I, I, you just should have with David Cronenberg, come on. No, I mean, look, I'm not comparing you to those people, but no, I'm no, saying no, no, that no, this is tippy top. Like it doesn't get better than this. And therefore, you know, there are certain, look, you guys all hold hands, like Cronenberg, Asias, and, and like, I could go on. There's a couple more, like, I, I really fucking loved working with Sean Penn, even though he's, you know, kind of a crazy dude. Like, I think that he also has this, like, faith in some, it's just faith in, in going towards your, I don't know, sort of excavating yourself in a way that, like, putting yourself on a plate is definitely a vulnerable experience. And I think, like, I don't know, I, I there, there's no way to be, I guess until you do it, like there's just no way to understand what it takes to make a movie. You have to be so psychotically invested in this thing. And I don't know, I think the whole job of a, of a director is to be the boss and not in a way that you're telling anyone what to do, but you're taking everyone's, everyone's instincts and desires and funneling one notion, which is your own 
And that is just something that I would love to taste because I have contributed to other people's sort of ideas, but they've always been boiled down to their singular thing, which is their movie. And it's a director's medium. And yeah. I just, I want to turn myself inside out in a new way. And, and I, I, the people that I've worked with that are really beautiful and singular filmmakers do that. And, um, it's nice to work, I don't know, I mean, this is sort of my most recent experience. I was on the Cronenberg movie for like two weeks. We were three, three and a half months together. It was a, it was a different experience. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I, I'm jealous. I wanna do it too. Well, I, I have one more quick question for both of you. Right. I wanted to ask you, is there a film that you look back on besides Spencer that you felt was a turning point in your career? I don't really look at myself like that. I mean, I guess if I zoom out, I could I, I know what you're saying. If I was looking at me like I wasn't me, I'd be like, oh, I really like that movie or that movie. But I, to articulate it is so embarrassing and self-conscious that uh, <laughs> just genuinely, I don't think in those terms. Yeah, never look back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Um, this is an extraordinary film and uh, I wish you the best of luck with it. Have a great thank day. You, you too. too.